Hi, friend, and thank you for joining me on the Watchman on the Wall channel. Let's pray into this powerful prophetic word excerpt from Brian Simmons, Wichita, Kansas. Jesus is your prayer life. The greatest lesson we have ever learned about prayer is this. Jesus is my prayer life. Jesus is our life, our strength, our victory. He's our hope of glory. He is the life and the power of our prayers. Jesus in me is my prayer life, and to be his partner in prayer must be the passion of every intercessor. His life in me is an ever-praying life. He ever lives to make intercession for me and in me. When you really believe this, your fear of not praying correctly will vanish. God has given us the privilege of taking hold of him and borrowing his strength. Fellowship with the eternal God takes weak and unfit people and makes them co-rulers, working together to bring his purposes to pass. You can become a walking prayer meeting on two legs as you intercede throughout the day. Busy moms, hurried men, students and ministers alike can all mingle prayer as they do with their daily work. An intercessor can maintain a spirit of constant prayer no matter what else is going on. Calling on the Lord is one way that he draws us into his heart. He knows that his life-changing power is released when we spend time with him. And he knows that adoration turns into transformation if we'll be patient. To love him must be our supreme occupation. And the more we love him, the more we spend time with him. And the more we spend time with him, the more our soul is transformed into his image. As we give him our heart in prayer, he gives us his heart in exchange, transforming us from deep within. The more you give your heart to prayer, the more you'll experience his presence. See 2 Corinthians 3.18 and John 14.21, both in the Passion Translation. Heavenly Father, you are our prayer life. Lord, I pray that I would be prompted to pray more frequently. Sometimes, Lord, I rely on my, on my natural mind to prompt me to pray, but Holy Spirit, how much more when the Spirit is moving and is willing, which is always, should we be in that constant state of prayer? Lord, I I pray that my friend and I can be that type of an intercessor today. That as we come and as we go, as we sit down and as we get up, as we go about our, our routine daily life and as we have dedicated time with you, I pray, Jesus, you become more of our prayer life. It's hard, friend, even to communicate now because I have to talk, but it's not even about me talking or you talking. Pray that we listen more today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.